Hello, good morning, children. Today we are going to discuss about the third lesson, which is multiplying integers. Okay. So I think so you have properly understood how to add and subtract integers. Okay. Now, in this topic, what we are actually going to do is we are going to learn how to multiply integers. Okay. So over here also, children, you must know the sign convention. Okay, which you have learned in the previous class, which is plus plus plus. Minus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus minus. Okay, so this is the sign convention over here. Also, children, we are going to use this. Okay, so let us do. Okay, let us try to understand how do we multiply integers. Okay, children. Now, <clears throat> multiplying integers are like similar to uh, like normal multiplication only. Like for example, let us see three into minus three into three. Okay, this is the first example which I want to give you. Okay, so in example number what what I'm doing is I'm multiplying minus three with three. So what you have to do over here is you just have to multiply three and three. Okay, so it will become nine, isn't it? But not only three three you have to multiply, you have to multiply the signs as well, isn't it? Because this three is having sign also, no? In before it, so what it will be is minus plus minus plus. It should be how much minus. Okay, children. That means not only number you have to multiply the signs as well. Okay, so that you have to keep it in your mind. Okay, not only number you have to multiply the signs also. Like for example, if there is minus four into minus nine. Okay, so in this case minus 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 should be plus. Then four nines uh, four nines this is going to be thirty six. Okay, so then so this is how we have to do. Okay, now let me give you. Example a bit of a bit bigger number. Okay, let us say uh, minus twelve into thirty. Okay, so how much it should be? Thirteen twelve just okay. Twelve uh, twelve just is one twenty four. One twenty four plus one forty four. One forty four plus twelve is how much? Six uh, five. One fifty six. So this should be one fifty six. And before. Uh, Thirteen, there is a sign of plus. Okay, so minus plus, it should be. See what it should be. Minus plus, it should be minus. Okay, children. So not only with small numbers you can do apply the same concept with big numbers also. That means what did we learn? How what how should you multiply integers? It's very simple. The way you used to multiply, you should multiply in that way only. Provided you should also keep in your mind that you have to multiply the signs as well. Okay. So minus plus it should be minus. Okay, like in not every cases they will give you the sign plus. Like they will leave it like this only. The way I have given that time the question also. If there is no sign before any number, it means that it is having a plus sign. Okay, so that's the reason <clears throat> reason why I'm writing minus over here. Minus plus minus over here also. Actually, you should not write plus sign. You have to imagine that there is a plus sign over here. Okay, so minus plus minus. Over here also, you should not write anything. You just should leave as it is, because minus minus is plus, and plus it's not compulsory that you have to show the sign of plus. Okay, children. So that means you understood the concept. Okay. Now, from this part, what actually you are supposed to do is, I am giving you some classwork as well as your homework. Okay. So from here, children, what you have to do is, you have to do question number. Uh, nine. Okay, as your classwork, as your classwork, you have to do question number nine, and as your homework, you have to do question number ten and eleven. Okay, children. Now, from the fourth part of the lesson, uh, we are going to learn about your um, integers only. Okay, but we are going to solve some story problems. Okay, so children. Uh, Please copy this in your copy, and uh, what you do is you do your classwork and your homework, and show me in the WhatsApp group as soon as possible. Okay, children. Thank you. Okay, now children, this is the last topic from your block one. Okay, which is lesson four, integers, story problems. Okay, children. That means by the lesson title only we can understand that we are going to solve problems related to integers which has stories as well in it. Okay, 
Now, stories or you can say, normally in simple words we can say, uh, you will be facing word problems. Okay. Now, just imagine children, there is a question, okay, which says that uh, a man is throwing stone. Okay. There is a man who is throwing stone, okay, into a lake. Just imagine this is a lake. Just imagine there is a lake like this. Okay. And there is a man. Okay. This man is actually throwing stone into the lake. Okay. He is throwing the stone into the lake. Okay. And when he threw the stone into the lake, what actually he didn't, he didn't do, he didn't throw like this. Okay. He didn't throw like this. He threw the stone in the opposite manner. Like that. What he did is he threw it above. Okay. He threw it above. Then this stone actually attained a projectile okay projectile means actually a uh, path which is kind of circular like this is actually known as projectile okay so when he threw the stone he threw the stone like this so now this this stone actually what happens is this stone actually enters the lake okay now child if i say that this man has threw the stone 12 meter above the ground okay that means he has threw the stone 12 meter above the ground okay and the stone again came back to the place over here and it reached the uh, bed of the lake okay which was uh, 12 meter deep from the level from this level this from this level the lake is actually 12 meter deep okay that means what is what is this man doing this man is throwing actually a stone 12 meter high in the sky, high in the, uh, what they say, towards the sky, not in the sky, towards the sky he is throwing the uh, stone 12 meters above and this stone is now at 12 meter deep in the lake, okay. So can you tell me how much distance this stone has traveled, okay. You have to, or you can, or in the question they will be asking. How much distance this sto stone has traveled? Okay, so this is actually a story. Isn't it, children? And you have to solve the problem. Okay, now if you look carefully, this stone first traveled 12 meter from here. Okay, 12 meter. Then it again came back 12 meter down. Isn't it? And it again went 12 meter below also. That means what is the total distance? Can you tell me, children? I think so, most of you have understood. Total distance. Okay, what will be the total distance? Very simple. It will be first 12 plus this 12 plus this 12. Okay, so this is the total distance traveled by the stone. And it should be how much? 36 meter. Very simple. Okay, total distance traveled by, wait, okay, let me complete this. Traveled by stone. Okay, the total distance traveled by stone is equal to, will be how much? 12 plus 12 plus 12. Because... 12 from here, 12 from here and 12 below. So it should be 36 meters. Okay children. So this is how they will frame you some questions. Okay. That means you have to understand the story which they will be giving in the question. Okay. And based on that you have to solve the questions. Okay. Understanding child. Now uh, this is one of the example. Now other examples will be like for example. Uh, first let me rub this children. Hmm. Let me rub this. Okay. Now, another type of story which they will say is, they will say, the cost of one pen. Okay. They will say, just imagine this is a pen. Uh, the cost of each pen is just imagine five, 50 rupees. Okay. And they will say, what will be the cost of uh, 100 pens like this, okay, 100 pens like this, okay, now I cannot make all each and every 100 pens over here, so let me imagine, this 100 pens are like this dot dots, okay, this dot dots, just me, let us imagine, this dot dot represents the 100 pen, okay, that means there are 100 pens over there, okay, so what you will, will what will you do, how will you find the cost of the 100 pens, okay, so since you know, in here you know, since the cost, of one pen is how much? It is rupees fifty. So therefore, therefore the cost of hundred pen will be how much? Obviously, what you have to do, children, you have to yes, 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 multi 
multiply okay you have to multiply and it will become how much then it will become 5000 rupees okay children so this kind of story problems also they give okay so you just have to understand and solve the question you have to know whether you have to multiply or subtract or divide the values which is given in the question very simple questions they will be giving you if you have doubt you can ask me children okay so from this part of the chapter okay from this chap from this part of the chapter you are supposed to do question number 13 okay question number 13 and 15 as your classwork and your homework will be to do question number uh, question number 16 17 and 18 as your homework okay children so all together you will have maybe five or six classwork questions and uh, five or six um, your homework questions so homework questions you can show me tomorrow also but classwork you have to show me before 5 pm today okay so please copy this whatever i have got made you write in the board okay all the examples okay and today's date and lesson number and lesson name okay everything you have to mention it properly in your copy so that when your copy is taken for your correction it is properly having the notes which is mentioned in the videos okay so i expect you to do classwork and homework and send me in my whatsapp number as soon as possible okay children so here i close for today okay